Hey there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Northwest Craftsman. I just recently got a very exciting shipment in from a guy named Michael at Best Sharpening Stones down in Texas. And uh, I guess he's the owner of the Ultra Sharp brand. I didn't know who owned it, I just knew that I really liked their stones. And when he found my video from a while back about breaking in the stones and how to use the stones, he wanted to say thank you. And so he sent me the 2200 and the 3000 grit stones. And so today we're gonna be cracking that package open, opening those guys up, and then breaking those in so that I can use them in the future. So if you want to learn how to sharpen with diamond stones, this is going to be an excellent video. If you'd like to see it with the lower grit stones, go ahead and check it out right here. But let's get started. Yeah, sweet. Looks like he sent me new holders. Excellent. So these are brand new from the first time that I had these. These are really nice uh, instructions. I'll definitely be keeping these around because they're very nice and sturdy. But the primary idea when you're breaking in your stones is that you wanna make sure that any of the loose diamonds that are on your stone are broken free and are off there. Um, the recommendation or the warning that he has on here is don't try to flatten the back of a chisel or a plain blade with a new diamond stone because you still need to break it in in order to get that really flat, smooth surface. So there's three primary ways that you can do it. One is to sharpen as you normally would, um, just with a large dull knife. That's the method that I did the first time. Um, another one is just to run a piece of hardened steel over the surface. Um, and then the other one is to flatten a water stone similar to you normally would because the diamond stone is going to be harder than the water stone. And so you should be able to flatten a water stone with one of these um, and break it free. But essentially what you're trying to do is break free excess diamonds off of this, which is a normal part of the process so that you can use it. And we're going to be rinsing this periodically as we go through. So in my particular case, I'm gonna be sharpening as I normally would. And rather than using one of my plain blades or using um, a chisel of some kind, I'm going to take a hatchet that I have and I'm gonna sharpen it on the 2200 grit and then the 3000 grit. And the reason I'm gonna go through just these two as opposed to my normal process of three, six, 12, and then it would go on to the 2200 and the 3000 grit is because I actually do wanna get some good wear on these to break them in. And so that's gonna be uh, sharpening as I normally would or a large hardened steel uh, tool. You basically just want to use these and I actually don't care if my hatchet is in a perfectly even shape um, mostly I just want to break these guys in and it's gonna be way sharper than it would normally be so that I can just use it usefully later all right here's what that process looks like So again, just to talk about it, the other grits that I have are the um, 300 grit, the 600 grit, and the 1200 grit. Here you can see them in order. So three, six, and 1200 grit. And this is generally what I would use to sharpen everything that I had. Um, I've absolutely loved these things. They've worked really well for me and they get everything just shaving sharp. And so I'm really curious to see what happens after we break these in and I get a chance to start using them. Okay, so for this process, you're gonna be wanting to use your blade holder and you're gonna wanna have a tub of water with you because what you're gonna wanna do is you need to make sure that the stones stay well lubricated the entire time. And then for this process, we need to rinse it after the first minute and then rinse it every two minutes after there for up to five or 10 minutes of total break in time. Now that process makes sure that there's no no excess diamonds on the top of your stone, wearing away the rest of the stone and the rest of the diamonds or putting excess wear and tear on this during this initial break-in process. After you go through the break-in, the diamonds are pretty well set into the stones itself and you're not gonna see that excess wear and tear and you only need to rinse it off after a lot of sharpening and when you have a lot of debris in there or after the very end of your sharpening session and before you put it away. Now, again, the reason for the lubricant is because in this process, we wanna make sure that diamonds and debris stay out of the stone or get off the stone as quickly as possible. But um, in the future, when you're using a diamond stone, you need to make sure that you're using lubricant, whether that's crud cutter or in this case, I'm just using Windex because that allows the debris that is coming off your blade, in this case, my hatchet, it allows it to come off the stone more easily and not get ground into the stone itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick time lapse of this process right here so that you can see roughly what it looks like. And again, one minute and then every two minutes after the fact, and I'm gonna go first at the 2200 grit and then at the 3000 grit level.
Okay, so after taking it through up to that 3000 grit, it is nice shaving sharp. You can see it's taken off some of the nubbles up there. But I'm gonna go ahead and run this through on my leather strop to get that last little bit, and then uh, call it good. So after getting my hatchet shaving sharp, you may be asking yourself the question, do you need a hatchet that is shaving sharp? And I think the answer is probably no, you don't need a hatchet that is shaving sharp. This was an excellent way to break in my brand new diamond stones uh, from Best Sharpening Stones. Thank you so much, Michael, for sending those to me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you, the viewer, have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them, leave them down in the comment section down below and go check out Michael's website, Best Sharpening Stones. Um, I'll go ahead and leave it a uh, link down in the description so that you guys can find him. If you can buy your stuff directly from him, especially any of the ultra sharp stones, um, that goes all the distance in helping local businesses here in the United States um, to grow, to thrive, and to really uh, just support the local economy. So thank you guys very much. Um, if you would like to support the channel, you can also get those stones from Amazon, um, but I'd rather have you check out his website first because he's going to have a whole bunch of there, a whole bunch of stones, a whole bunch of options. And honestly, I'm not doing this because he has paid me or gi given me these stones. Like this is not the reason why I'm doing this video. I truly love the ultra sharp stones. So if you need a new set of diamond stones or you're trying to use any other way of sharpening and uh, it's just not cutting it, I tried other stuff previously, some cheaper stuff, and it's just terrible. So I recommend you go to diamond stones. It is one of the best investments you're going to make in your shop. Um, I honestly just can't recommend them highly enough. So thank you guys tons. I really appreciate it. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. If you like the kind of content we have here at Northwest Craftsman, I'd really appreciate it, a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel and go check out Best Sharpening Stones. Link in the description, check out the stuff that he has, buy stones, make everything in your tool in your uh, shop sharper because it just makes your job that much easier. There's an old adage with Abe Lincoln, I think it was, I, I'm probably misattributing this, but it's something if I have six hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend the first four sharpening my ax. There we go. Don't use a hatchet to try and chop down a tree, but when you're using diamond stones to sharpen, it's gonna get you a long ways towards working a lot easier. So thank you guys tons, happy woodworking. Talk to you later.